And Congressman Mike Rogers now joins us. He chairs the Intelligence Committee and is a former agent with the FBI. Um, if you were an FBI man looking at this evidence, a compound eight times the size of the neighbors, land owned by the military, the military academy a mile away down the street, what would be your conclusion as to whether Pakistan's officials uh, knew, had to know, should have known, uh, knew without asking? Sure. I mean, it sure leads to a lot of questions. I, I just a few hours ago received uh, new information uh, that would lead me to believe they didn't know as an institution. The ISI didn't know as an institution. The spy, the, the spy agency didn't know as an institution. The military didn't know as an institution. I don't think the government knew. There may have been elements that knew he was there. I don't believe as an institution, as a country, they knew he was there. Should they have known? Does it mean well, they're not competent? Clearly embarrassing. This is clearly embarrassing for uh, uh, the Pakistanis. And what I hope comes out of this is that we strengthen their resolve about helping us go after really hard targets that we know are in Pakistan. Uh, I think this might might be something that pries them loose. Uh, and they've had an on-again, off-again. Sometimes they help us, sometimes they don't. I will remind the public that 600 arrests of terrorist suspects in the settled areas of Pakistan, uh, and they sent their troops into the tribal areas of Pakistan and have suffered pretty serious casualties. Thousands of their men have died in combat fighting Taliban and al-Qaeda. So they have, in, in many ways, helped us. Uh, and, but if something like this happens, it sure asks uh, it begs the question, uh, who did know? Uh, we're going to ask those questions, but I think what I've seen just in the last few hours tells me probably not institutional. What kind agencies. of information? Uh, it was just very uh, clear. I can't talk about the, the type of information, the source of the method of information, but it was very clear to me after I now, uh, took a look at it, had a chance to digest it, uh, that they were not that aware. That they were shocked in real time. I, I do think they're truly embarrassed, and I think they were shocked that, uh, in fact, it was Osama bin Laden. Does getting Osama bin Laden make it easier for us to begin thinking about throwing down in Afghanistan? You know, two different fights, I think. And I think every country, every operation has to be considered differently. Uh, we we, no one should use this and say, well, see, this is the only way we should do this at, at all places. It doesn't always fit. Uh, and what we're fighting in Afghanistan now is the resurgence of the Taliban. The Taliban is what aided al-Qaeda and gave them safe haven in Afghanistan to conduct operations against the United States.